Off you go then, Morgan. Dutch is waiting for you, and uh, <laughs> you have that worker situation to deal with. What are you gonna do? I was told to guard this spot. Just following orders. I don't look good. Oh! Ah! The hell was that? Still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. But this, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Go. Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. 
I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep... Be quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Quick! Hide! Over there! Te voy a decir una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Come on, follow me. Another one. Hi, quick. Seguro está disfrutando mientras tortura a esos bastardos. Se le pone tieso el petito. Fue creado por ratas. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of the store. Ratas. Creado por el mismo diablo. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. Careful. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> Maldito bastardo! Get them down from there! Shoot the ropes! Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptist. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place. 
Makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercules is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Hey. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Man? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes 
We've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this her cue fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Jose and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> Just a, just a bit more. This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Jesus! Easy, Dutch! What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? Yes. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. 
But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. you I come from Mexico I never met those men does anyone believe him oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you even the mule doesn't believe you eso ni fue para tanto si que deja de actuar sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte fue bastante duro no la próxima vez será aún más duro Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! ¿Qué hacemos contigo, puta? This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. Got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me. Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Me podría costar como mujeres que usan zapatos. ¿Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. I think I preferred the other one. Now we need to create a diversion. Uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. No problem. You'll see. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Create enough dust. This place will go. 
All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.
what you ask. It's like I said. Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, Mifred. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Quick! So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship! Kinda have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we won. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Shoot them man! The fella's on the beach! I see. Them. There's more coming down the right side of the beach. Let's be prepared. Welcome in, party. Why the hell are we doing uh, this? This ain't our fight. We're going to get off this island or not. He's using us.
Let's go down and clear them off the beach. Wait, wait. I'll come too. And me. We'll guard this thing. Grab that shotgun, Arthur. Glad you could join us. Better late than never. I say we push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. Oh. This is kind of fun. and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. I find it. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ's sake, how many men has Fusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. We will have the money to get more. Watch out! Down! We will have to climb up around the side. This way. That one's going to be forgot. Okay, Arthur. We have no time for this. We have to get going. 
take you to some more shot. Everybody what in line. We need to put a serious hole in that boat. <sighs> from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hair cool? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hair cool? We follow you. Hanale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Okay, we're clear. Let's plant the explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. <laughs> enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this, Arthur. The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? 
Put your guns down. Enough? Oh, I've had enough of this. Arthur? The rifle? Sure. Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Or are you gonna die? Put your guns down. Save my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam. Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. They have sent me. Keep going! Another one! Shoot him! Keep going! Just get to that boat! In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. <sighs> this goddamn idiot. Come on! We should be. We have to take him down. Captain, there's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. For you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on, we'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably back to IT. Believe me, we'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know? And it ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. 
make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone?
Dang near killed me. Good girl. Susan! Strauss, you here? Keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful.
Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Le Cay, a small village just north of Saint-Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, your laugh. Just about. Come inside. Come on, it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. 
I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? A cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Jose at Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth... Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually... Let them have it. Sit down! Uh, ask everyone you could find, did you, Bill? This is real bad. Stay down, Ollie! Push him back! 
saved us, Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, miss, I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're going to hang him. It'll break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm going to go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million avenue. Okay. Goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. White, two, D4, black. You okay there? Five. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They 
chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. All right, sir. Do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, will you ride with me? Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. Hello. I understand. Hi, Mary Beth. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. Thought we were leaving now. Mount up then. It's a fair ride from here. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't in addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Nah. I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. 
just... It's been... I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Whoa! Well, I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at their reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Put your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Yeah, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Us? We're trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take kindly to outsiders around here. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. <laughs>
Good evening. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. You probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay.
You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. And I do the skinny. Well, how about I do the skinny? Then who do the carrying? Quick. MacArthur. Son of a bitch, you know that. Dog shit! Let's go, Arthur. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. closer and then throw it into the cave. Let's get this over with.
Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Okay. Shh. You're 
safe. It's okay. Come on. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew got us. Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just. Keep her warm and keep her safe. Uh, 
This is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you Shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> oh, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty! You... Take her! She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! Yeah. Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that bitty look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? How are you holding up? I'm doing decent, I guess. Yeah. Thanks, Pearson.
ain't forgotten you. Morning, Arthur. I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me. Please! Some scrap or something here. Oh, oh, Mister, you. I thought I was gonna be all oh, go. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna be a gone. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. Whew. Whew.
You there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how. Big and strong you are. Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. Hamish Sinclair. 
Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. You weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Let's go, girl. Yep.
treat for you. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. This is, uh, very kind of you. no more can't raise no animals take no wives all i did was graze my livestock married them that needed marrying and killed any that tried to stop it i ain't wrong it's you that's wrong we was trying to live free <clears throat> sounds like sour grapes you know you ain't going to court you ain't going to jail either i'm taking you to a professor i know what in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd. Maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this gay professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs>
Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Look that now. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Bring him Here, to I got him. You're wonderful. Come on, <sighs> don't be shy now. Let's go. Oh, lay him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Ha, ha, ha. 
Wait, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. There. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Tom, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Stop soon, we'll all be dying. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. This 
sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Chateaunay, the painter! <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I am lost men. I shot on the bar. Quick, behind here. We stay behind here. We go! Please do not do that again. <sighs> now get moving, come on. Hey, partner. So, wait. You ain't none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. And new kinds of thing. The whole in the we go there. Pretty lady. Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. Bar shipping, money borrowing, wife stealing. 
You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself from people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? What's my impropriety? A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that... Look at you, big little man! Hello, boys. Come on. The sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <laughs> So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir.